Yeah, my boy, that's my boy, Justin. <laughs> Ooh, Lenny, it's about time. Yes, sir. It's about time. How you doing, though? Good. Lenny, uh, Coach talked about a meeting that you guys had at Higher Ground right when the Big Ten canceled, and, you know, he told everybody, make your decision tonight. We'll see you at 7.30 tomorrow morning. Um, how has this brotherhood been maybe since that meeting growing into becoming – a top 10 team and, and in position to win the American Athletic Conference now? Um, Coach Fick has uh, just been a real good teacher and uh, making us uh, buy into the culture and everybody's buying into the culture and understanding that uh, we can win a championship this year and that's what we're trying to do. Were you expecting to, you and Josh both to be a big part of this game plan? You guys obviously had, both had really good nights. Was that part of the expectation coming in or was that just the way the game played out? Um, I think it was, uh, no, nah, that's how we game plan. Um, there was a lot of, we, there was a lot of one-on-one -on -one going on this week. So we just had, everybody had to step up across the board and, uh, win their one-on-one -on -one matchups. Were you surprised at all that they never really adjusted to, you know, the, the flat play that you guys keep running, keep running at them over and over again? No, nah, no, no, sir. Uh, no, sir. Uh, just because they like to play man to man and that's what they do. And I feel like that's just how their defense works. And we got to run them crosses and they just, I don't know, they had no answer for it. You had a, a drop pass early in the game. What was going through your mind when that oh, happened? Man. And how were you able to bounce back and obviously recover really well from it? Um, uh, my teammates just had my back. Um, they trusted me and believed in me. And I, it just gave me the confidence to go back out there and go make some more plays. You, you were entrusted with scoring what ended up being the game ceiling touchdown. How, how, did, how does it make you feel to be trusted with that play call and that play and, and make it? Um, just knowing that my, my team's got my back and I got to go out there and perform and do the things to do so we can win and make sure we get a championship. How good was it for the tight end room to have Bruno oh, back? Great, great. That's, that's, I mean, that's our leader. Um, he, and I feel like he's a force and uh, he's the one who keeps us all going. He went out there and showed us that he was tough and he had just came back from that little knee problem and he went out there and did his thing. At one point in the fourth quarter, it had been a while since you scored a touchdown. How did you guys break out of that little spell? Uh, I don't know about all that, but um, I don't know. Just, just keep going. Just keep pushing and stay with the culture, stay with what's going on and stay with the brotherhood. Des seems pretty level-headed, even keeled in these big moments late in the game. What's he like in the huddle and on the sideline with you guys? Oh, he's a baller, man. He hoops every game. Um, he's a leader. He just keeps us on the right path, and he keeps our mind where it needs to be. We, we got to get them dubs, you know. <laughs> what are your thoughts on Josh continuously trying to jump over people? Oh, that keep going, keep doing his thing. He keeps doing his thing. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be like eight one every day. I'm trying to go out there and make plays and do things he do every day too. When you guys came in, you were both really highly rated. Um, it's taken a little bit of time, you know, because you had Josiah in front of you, but mm -hmm. how fun is this for the two of you to finally be such a, you know, an important part of this offense and this team winning? Oh, so much important. Um, that's my brother and his success is my success. My success is his success. And we're going to keep pushing in until both of us are at the top. What did Josh think of uh, them taking away his touchdown, his second touchdown? Oh, yeah. Well, uh... I don't know about all that. You should maybe ask him. <laughs> Man, that boy was on fire. Um, he wasn't really happy with that. He thought that was kind of a little bit of some uh, not so good officiating. But, yeah, we, uh, we can talk about that later. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy, man. That was real crazy. What, what has it been like playing with, with Dez as he has had this hot streak over the past five games? I mean, it, it's got to feel like no matter what, he's going to figure out a way to get you guys across the finish line. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, um, he, he's a winner. He wants to win every time we get on the field. And he's a competitor, very good competitor. So when we go out there, we're, we're behind him. He's the leader. All right, guys, you good? All right, thank you very much. Thanks, Have a good night. thanks Lenny. Hey, appreciate y'all so much. Thank you for having me. Thanks, Kaz. You're welcome, thanks, guys. Lenny. Good work, Kaz. Yeah.